Now that we have configured the service provider portion of our enterprise application to connect our WordPress website with Microsoft Enter ID to enable our users to single sign on with their Microsoft account using the SAML protocol, it is now time to configure the identity provider portion. Um, but not for the enterprise application because that portion is actually already available and we can simply import that portion now into the configuration of WPO365. We can import it into our WordPress website to uh, basically finalize the configuration to set up the second part of the connection. To do that, I will scroll down to the SAML certificates uh, portion number three, and I copy the App Federation metadata URL. I copy it to the clipboard, and I switch back to my other tab, where I still have the WPO365 uh, single sign-on configuration page opened. And here, in the SAML 2.0 IDP metadata section, I can simply paste this URL, and I can click Import. When I do that, I will see a spinner for the time needed to connect to Microsoft to uh, import the metadata that configures basically WPO365, that configures the IDP, the identity provider portion. And as you can see, it imports the directory tenant ID, imports an entity ID, it imports the single sign-on service URL, the logout URL, and finally, it also imports and formats the X509 certificate. With this import completed, I'm already done with the configuration of the identity provider portion.